Make a penny battery using common pennies, salt, water, little pieces of cardboard, and uh, some kind of voltage meter to read how much energy it's made. So you start by using the zinc and the copper on the penny. So you want to take some amount of pennies, I used five, and sand down the copper off one side to expose the zinc. And then you're going to create an electrolytic solution, salt water in this case, and dip the cardboard in it to create a salt bridge. To explain how this works, we can refer to the diagram. The battery uses a system of voltaic cells hooked up in series to create voltage. A voltaic cell uses the zinc and the copper to create two uh, redox half reactions that create a flow of electrons from one voltaic cell to the next. This flow of electrons creates a current, which is the electricity that it creates. So if we look at the volts created from the reduction of zinc, we notice that it's negative. So to create a positive voltage, instead of reducing the zinc, you want to oxidize it. If we look at the copper, you can see that the volts from the reduction is positive, so we can just reduce that. When we have both a reduction of copper and an oxidation of zinc, you can use that to your advantage to create electron flow over the salt bridge. So if you see here, we're reducing the copper and oxidizing the zinc. Oxidation is an anode, so zinc is the anode. Reducing is the cathode, so copper is the cathode. So if we look at our diagram here, you can see that we have the zinc on one side of a penny, moving electrons or reducing, and traveling through the electrolyte solution, in this case salt water, to the copper on the next penny. That voltage is then hooked up in series to the, to the zinc on the other side of the penny, and it keeps continuing. So we can use this by stacking pennies with copper on one side, zinc on the other, separated by some kind of electrolyte solution to create a flow of electrons. If you look here, stacking pennies creates, right here is a penny with copper and zinc. One side of the penny with the electrolyte salt bridge and the other side of the penny, the zinc side, is one cell. And then halfway through the penny, the two cells connect to create a battery. So let's try it out. So first we're going to want to create our electrolytic solution. So I'm going to put some common table salt in this water and stir to dissolve it. If we use our voltometer over here and set it to ohms and dip it in the solution, we can see by looking at the voltmeter that it conducts electricity with a resistance of about 160 to 180,000 ohms. So now we can use this and dip our cardboard pieces. So we're going to have our first penny here. We're going to have copper down, piece of cardboard, penny. Make sure you always have the sand down part facing the same direction. And now, if we look at our voltmeter, since the copper side was down, this piece of aluminum is conducting the copper down side, so it should be the anode, or the negative side. So we're putting the black here and the red wire here. If we look at the voltometer, we're making about one and a half volts, maybe a little less, about one and a half. So that is a successful penny battery. If you wanted more volts, you could continue stacking batteries and add more voltaic cells to your battery.